Welcome to Barron Public Library's Friday Read Aloud. Today, I'm going to read a story that to you might feel completely unconnected to where we are in place and time right now. But for me, it brought back a really, really vivid Christmas memory. One where I gave a nephew a very loud toy. Pay close attention to the expressions on the faces in these pictures. Enjoy. Paco and the Drum by Matthew Forsythe. The biggest mistake Paco's parents ever made was giving her a drum. They had made mistakes before. Like the slingshot. And the llama. And the balloon. But the drum was the biggest mistake. We shouldn't have given her that drum, said her father. What? said her mother. That drum's too loud, can't hear you. The drum was a big mistake, said her father. That sounds like a wonderful idea, said her mother, who still couldn't hear what he was saying. The next day, her father said, Paco, why don't you take your drum outside for a little while? But don't make too much noise. We're just a little frog family that lives in a mushroom. And we don't like drawing attention to ourselves. Paco agreed. And she set out as quietly as she could. It had just rained and the forest was sparkling like an emerald. And it was very quiet. Too quiet. Paco started tapping on her drum just to keep herself company. But something stirred behind her. A raccoon playing a banjo started following her. So Paco hit her drum louder. And then a rabbit playing a trumpet, started following them. But Paco kept playing her drum. And then a wolf, who couldn't really play anything, but he was very happy to be near the music, joined in. And Paco still played her drum. But then the wolf ate the rabbit and Paco stopped playing her drum and faced the wolf and said, no more eating band members or you're out of the band. I'm sorry, said the wolf and he meant it. And they all started playing again and soon there was a crowd of animals playing instruments. And a crowd of animals following them around, enjoying the music. And they were all following Paco. Paco, your dinner's ready, 
shouted her father. No one answered, but he could hear music in the distance. And the music grew louder. And louder. Until the crowd swept through the house and carried Paco's parents off into the woods. Oh no, said her father. Oh dear, said her mother. I think that's Paco down in front, said her father. And you know what? What, said her mother, who was just getting to the best part of her book. I think she's pretty good. And no one could hear what he was saying. But if they could, they all would have agreed. Well, the boy that got the loud musical instrument for Christmas became a professional musician, still making music today. What gift do you have? that inspires you and would allow you to lead and create community. Now's the time to explore. Find something that makes you feel joy and practice it and do it and share it. During January at Barron Public Library, that's exactly what we're exploring. Come in and check out our displays and find something that just makes you smile. Until next time, this is Miss Patricia. Keep reading.